Hey what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So today I want to show you a couple of examples of how I shoot top down videos. So when I do unboxing on the tabletop here, I want to show you a couple of uh, really convenient ways of getting the perfect shots from high up looking down onto the table. And there's a couple of methods that I use and there's one specific new rig that I've just recently bought and I wanted to showcase that to you guys. So let's take a look. Alright guys, so this is the first method that I usually use for my top down videos. As you can see, I've mounted my camera onto a tripod which has a ball head. Now this is a very heavy duty Andoa tripod. I've just got it on the legs, I don't have anything mounted on it. And I've got a tilted arm there which comes out to the top. And then I expand the camera downwards using the ball head there. So as you can see, it works fairly well and I've used this for the past couple of years as my main method. And this is probably the most common way that most YouTubers or tech influence or whatever you do to showcase top down videos. This is probably going to be the method that you use. Now, of course, depending on the weight of your camera, it might be useful to weigh it down with this clip here, maybe get like a sandbag just so that it doesn't fall over, especially if you don't have a heavy duty desk or anything blocking the tripod on the floor. Now, speaking of that, the second way I normally shoot videos in this method is using a tripod dolly to lock down the wheels so that the tripod doesn't fall over, eliminating the need for me to get any type of sandbag for that clip. Now, let me show you how that looks. Okay, guys. So this is the tripod dolly. As you can see, it's a three way split. So what I've done is I've basically locked the legs into the dolly there and it is adjustable. You can move this backwards and just tighten it as much as you want. And this has a lock on the wheels to make it even more secure so the dolly won't move around. Now this eliminates my need to put any sort of backpack or any sandbag on this to prevent the actual arm from tilting over. And you have the flexibility of moving the tripod around quite easily. So that's another way I usually record my top down videos. And now this is a brand new way that I've just found and I'm gonna show you that next. Okay, so this, this is my new way of shooting top down videos. Now this rig and this setup is called the Glide Gear OH100 and it's an adjustable overhead camera platform. It's very heavy duty, it's durable, it's solid and it comes with a few pieces very easily to assemble. Now this sits on top of your desk and it can get in the view of your camera if you've set it up on your tripod and you're just presenting. So I normally put this to the side and put it on the desk when I need to shoot downwards. To set the camera up, I've connected this on the top here, which is basically a mount for your DSLR or mirrorless cameras. It's got a quarter inch right there, so you can connect it directly to the bottom of your camera. And then you don't need to have any leveling meter with it as well. It's always going to be equal to the desk level. So this is so convenient. Now to make it even more convenient, the one thing I really wanted to do with this is make sure the transition from my tripod using the ball head here I want to use the mount that is already connected to the camera to mount it on this. So what I've done is I've just bought an additional ball head, which has the same type of mount, and I'm gonna screw that into this little mount here on the glide gear. So let me set that up now. So this is the screw without it, and you have to just basically move it to wherever you want to adjust it. So now let me connect the new ball head. And there we go. As you can see, the ball head has been mounted on there. And now it's a very easy transition for me to put my camera directly on this from the tripod. And this also comes with a little leveling meter there as well, so I can see if it is parallel to the actual desk. Very convenient, quick and easy. This is the setup. And it's uh, quite lightweight as well, so it's very easy to tuck away when it's not in use. You can just put it on the floor to the side against the wall, and it doesn't take up much space. The only thing to remember with this type of setup is if you have a very weak or a very lightweight desk, if you are doing a lot of unboxing videos and you shake the desk, then this might shake the camera with it because the actual rig is on top of the desk, whereas the tripod is separate and it's not touching the table. So just be aware of that. But other than that, this covers everything on how to shoot some really cool top-down videos. This Glide Gear OH100 comes at just under $200 on the BHP Photo and Video website. I'll leave a link in the description below of where you can check that out. Otherwise, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Otherwise, I hope you subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.